for Granola to win. This timeline begins with Goku's first fight against Granola. For some reason, instead of finishing off Goku like he planned to, he listened to Vegeta and began to fight him instead. So, in this timeline, Granola doesn't listen to Vegeta and finishes off Goku instead. With Goku dead, Vegeta's fight with Granola would go mostly the same. The only major difference is that Vegeta wouldn't try to talk Granola into seeing reason, since he killed Goku. Normally, when Vegeta was about to be finished off, Goku arrived and saved them. Of course, that can't happen here, so Vegeta is killed too. Regardless, either the Saiyans are dead, Granola would report back to the heaters. At this point, they could either tell Granola where Frieza is, or they could send Granola to finish off the other heroes by telling them they're part of Frieza's army. Even though the Earth Dragon Balls are inert at this time, since Mackie couldn't find them on the radar, it would be better safe than sorry to risk the heroes getting revived. So, Elect tells Granola that while they are looking for Frieza's location, he should go take out the Earthlings, as they are part of the Frieza force. Which, none of the heroes would stand a chance, so they would all be killed by Granola. After telling Elect of his success, it's hard to tell when he will be told about Frieza's location, since Elect wanted to wait a little longer before sending him after Frieza. Eventually, when he does send Granola after the Tyrant, it would be a long and drawn-out fight, but since Frieza didn't train in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, he would be killed by Granola. This is where the timeline can split into either Granola winning over the Heaters, or the Heaters winning over Granola. Granola would want to dismantle Frieza's empire, while the Heaters wanted to take it over for themselves. So, in this timeline, when the two forces eventually go against each other, Granola comes out on top. I'm going to say that in this timeline, he secretly found out about the Heaters' his plan to kill him and take over the Frieza Force. Before they could do this, however, he catches them off guard at some point and kills them. But since Gas is the strongest, he would be killed first, though Gas also didn't make his wish to be the strongest in the universe in this timeline. Regardless, with the Heaters now dead, Granola would go on to dismantle the remnants of Frieza's empire like he wanted to. From there, he would return to Planet Serial and go back to living with Monaito. Since his desire for revenge was fulfilled, he would live the rest of his life peacefully on Planet Serial, though he also might still do bounties to continue to earn money to provide for himself in Monaito. However, since he made the wish to be the strongest in the universe before, his life ends three years after the day he made that wish. In the timeline about the Heaters winning, it would start with the branching point I mentioned in the last chapter. Instead of Granola finding out about the Heaters' plan, he never learns about it. Anyway, since they know about Granola's lifespan having been shortened, they hold off on beginning their plans of taking over Frieza's old empire right away. Instead, they bide their time and wait for Granola to die, so that they don't have to fight him. Once he dies, they would then take over the remnants of Frieza's empire, since it likely continued even though Frieza was killed again. After all, his empire persisted after he died the first and second time, so I don't see why it wouldn't the third time. Regardless, with the Heaters taking over the remnants of Frieza's empire, it would open new business opportunities for them. They would have a better intel network at their disposal to be able to provide their services across the universe, which, they would still be involved in getting bounties out to people, but they would also still be involved in the planet broker business, like how they sold planet cereal to the Shigarians. Without the heroes in their way, they wouldn't be stopped from expanding their empire around the universe which it would likely grow to be extremely profitable too, since the entire universe's resources would be within their grasp. Mm -hmm. 